Hey gang, what's happening? It's Jay coming at you from the Hooch and coming here to show you guys a new scope that I received recently from CV Life. Um, I've gotten a bipod from them. Actually, the bipod is here on the rifle that I had done a review um, way back on. You guys can check it out up there. And they recently um, reached out to me asking if I'd like to try out one of their scopes. So I said, sure, why not? I've been looking to add something different to my to one of my 22s and figured uh, I like the LPVO style. I, I love the one that's on my AR. So I figured, why not? Let's give it a shot and see if um, see if you can do an LPVO on a 22 rifle and what kind of a difference it would make. So anyways, so this is their 1 to 6 by 24 LPVO. It is a secondary focal plane on it. So those of you, you guys who know, you know that they... Um, the reticle is placed behind the objective lens, so or behind the magnifier actually. So as you increase that, as you increase your magnification, it stays the same. So it's great for short range distances um, where your first focal plane scopes are going to that is in front of your magnification. So as you dial that up, it increases the size of the reticle too, which is great for your. Uh, uh, big game hunting and big open lands or long distance shooters that certainly lends itself to that but your secondary focal plane scopes are really they're going to be your more common in your budget minded scopes but also for your everyday guys like us who are shooting between farm fields and woodlands it's really kind of that happy mix of things for you so that has that on it as well retail price wise you're in the 120 to 150 dollar range they make a couple different versions of this one uh, being a, a one to six it is completely adjustable as far as a swing lever goes or a throw lever so they're um, kind enough to give you one of the short stubby ones that screws in which actually i like that a lot better than what is on my other one um, i find that my finger and my thumb get a much better grip to it so i certainly appreciate it appreciated that on it they do give you um caps for the front and the rear i think here's the the rear one here the front one is actually the same size as a lot of my weapons mounted lights so it's uh that i moved to one of my other rifles but it's a really nice setup i was surprised at how clear the image was on it um we went we went and took it out last weekend and probably shot about 200 some rounds through it. And I was very pleasantly surprised at how easy it was to zero. Um, very little effort, very clean. Held zero the entire time, no issues there. Uh, shot with it anywhere from 25 yards out to 200 yards. And I liked that. And actually something that I found with this, with the um, height that I have it mounted at, and just shooting standard 40 grain, 22 caliber, um, rounds so at 25 yards i was dead on dead center on the for the bullseye for the reticle and then at 200 yards i was actually at the bottom hash which you can see up there what the reticle looks like um i was right at the bottom hash on that so for my purposes that was kind of nice to see that it kind of worked out just right there um, we moved on to some, to some, uh, to some lighter grain, higher velocity rounds. Didn't see much difference in that. So that was, um, so that was nice, but pleasantly surprised with that. For the price that they, uh, that they sell it for, it does include the mount. I haven't had any issues with that. It was super easy to put on. No problems there. It is a, uh, it's an etched reticle, but it also has a light on it. So it's just minute adjustments to that over... Over here are going to be your brightness settings to that. So I didn't have any issues with that. It, it lights up the uh, the center dot, um, which is perfect for me. And then you do have um, you do have adjustment caps. So they make a couple different versions of this. Some of them don't have the caps. Some do. Uh, it really didn't really really didn't matter to me you can lock them out you can uh set them to zero which those are big bonuses in my book at least so those were nice and easy to adjust there very reaffirming clicks to them it wasn't squishy uh so i once again i appreciated that i i liked that in a budget optic if you if you will um 
in my opinion, I think for somebody who's, you guys all know I enjoy being budget-minded on gear, I, um, I wouldn't hesitate to go ahead and buy this. I really, I really want it. If I was looking for something that, you know, my budget was in that hundred to $150 range, um, with your mount, I, um, with a couple spare batteries, caps, um, I was pleasantly surprised by it. So it was a, uh, definitely a, uh, a good find there. Way to go, CV Life. That was, uh, pretty spot on there. So this is available on both their, um, on Amazon. It's also available on their actual website page. You can get it either one of those places. Um, I think there's a few different, um, discounted prices running on Amazon. And, um, there's a few different prices on their actual website. Uh, I do uh, have a discount code for their website, so that'll be down in the description below so you guys can check that out. But um, I think for setting that up on my 22 and having the success with it that I did, I um, it is Minute of Squirrel all day long. Quick follow-up shots, easy, um, easy to stay on target, especially with both eyes open. Didn't have any issues with that. Um, yeah, I was pleased with it. So I would definitely recommend that to you guys. It's, um, this, that particular optic is, has found a home on that rifle. I'm, uh, I'm pleased with it. So for squirrels, groundhogs, even coyotes, I think that's a good setup for you. So anyways, that's what I got guys. Thanks for tuning in. I always appreciate it. I'll, uh, keep, keep bringing gear to you guys that, uh, that, uh, that I believe in, that I wouldn't hesitate to recommend to to you guys and um yeah we're good to go so anyways you guys keep getting out there keep training and uh keep your heads on a swivel we'll touch base soon be good